The Supreme Court is now hearing as we speak and the big story that we are breaking at this hour is that the apex court is now hearing the Rahul Gandhi defamation case as we speak. The hearing in fact has just begun. To tell our viewers the Rahul Gandhi Modi surname defamation case is now being heard in the apex court. The Congress leader had appealed previously against the Gujarat High Court's verdict dismissing his plea for a stay on his conviction in the defamation case in his plea to the Supreme Court. Rahul Gandhi has said if the judgment is not stayed then it would lead to throttling of free speech and strangulation of democracy. Gandhi has also gone on to say that Gujarat High Court order is not stayed then it's going to be detrimental to the political climate and future of India. The Congress leader has said it was not his intention to defame anyone. To tell our viewers the Gujarat High Court remember had sentenced Rahul Gandhi to two years imprisonment over the defamation case which ultimately disqualified him as a sitting member of parliament from Wayanad in Kerala. That matter is in Supreme Court and is being heard as we speak. The hearing has just begun. Big story we are breaking at this hour. The Supreme Court is hearing the Rahul Gandhi matter today. In fact, the hearing has just begun. Rahul Gandhi had approached the Supreme Court in connection with the Gujarat High Court order. That had said that Rahul Gandhi in fact deserves to be in jail for two years. This is the defamation case that Gandhi is battling. This is the Modi surname defamation case which has reached the top court. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi had appealed against the Gujarat High Court's verdict dismissing his plea for a stay on his conviction in this matter. In his plea to the Supreme Court, Rahul Gandhi has said if the judgment is not stayed, then it would lead to the throttling of free speech and strangulation of democracy. Also, Gandhi has gone on to say if the Gujarat High Court order is not stayed, it would be detrimental to the political climate and future of India. The hearing in Supreme Court has just begun. Getting in all details of what is now being said uh, in, in fact, the Supreme Court as far as the Rahul Gandhi matter is concerned, the hearing is currently underway. The case, in fact, has got to do with the fact that the Gujarat High Court has, in fact, sent uh, Mr. Gandhi to jail for two years in the defamation case. Gandhi, in fact, in his speech has said that if, the, in fact, this order was to be upheld by court, it would lead to throttling of free speech and strangulation of democracy. We will be out of Modi. Okay, a small question. How do you know the name of Modi, Modi, Modi? And now we will find out a little bit, then we will be out of Modi. Okay. एक छोटा सा सवाल इन सब के नाम इन सब चोरों के नाम मोदी 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 कैसे हैं और अभी थोड़ा ढूंढेंगे तो और और बहुत सारे मोदी निकलेंगे अच्छा एक छोटा सा सवाल इन सब के नाम इन सब बिग स्टोरी वे ब्रेकिंग एट दिस आर सुप्रीम कोर्ट एज इश्यूड अ नोटिस टू पुर्नेश मोदी एंड द स्टेट ऑफ गुजरात इशू अ नोटिस टू देम एंड रिप्लाई इज टू बी फाइल्ड इन टेन डेज टाइम वी गेटिंग यू अपू स्पीड रियल टाइम with all the developments in the Rahul Gandhi defamation case, the Supreme Court has now issued a notice to Purnesh Modi. In fact, it is being said in court, Justice Gavai has said that, uh, okay, in fact, Anisha Mathur is uh, getting us more details on that story. Anisha, first of all, get us up to speed with the very latest Anish. Apologize for that. We'll connect with her in a moment from now. Justice Gavai, in fact, has gone on to say that my father has been associated with the Congress personally and has been with the party for 40 years. And it is going to be difficulty in hearing the matter. We'll get into the nuance of that in a moment from now as to what Justice Gavai has said. But for the very latest, Anisha Mathur is with us. The court now has issued a notice to Purnesh Modi and the Gujarat government. What has the apex court said? Anisha, tell us more. Well, sir, it was a very, very short hearing in the Supreme Court just now where the Supreme Court has issued notice 
to uh, the uh, to Purnesh Modi as well as the Gujarat government. What is interesting is that uh, Purnesh Modi's lawyer, senior advocate Mahesh Jait Malani, has said that they should be given more time to file their reply. But the Supreme Court has commented that there's already a 150-page judgment. What is the need to file a reply in, a, in an issue like this? This seems to be something that happens in the Gujarat High Court only. And this is the uh, second time in a very short uh, period where Justice Gawai has made comments regarding the, uh, the way the uh, Gujarat High Court has passed orders very recently. In the Tista case also, he had made a comment regarding the functioning of the High Court. But for now, no uh, current relief for Rahul Gandhi. He has not been given an interim stay right now. But the court will hear his petition seeking a stay on the conviction and sentencing now on the 4th of August. Punesh Modi and the state of Gujarat have been given uh, time to file their responses. The, uh, the uh, written submissions will have to be filed in the next 10 days. The hearing will now be on August 4th. Uh, before this, uh, it is in, uh, a very intriguing uh, exchange took place where Justice Gawai has pointed out that his father was a, a member of parliament by, uh, with support of the Congress and his brother is also in active politics. So should he be taking up this hearing at all? The Purnesh Modi's lawyers also said that they have no objection to Justice Gawai hearing this matter because remember, uh, the affiliations of the judges in the High Court and in the Trial Court had been questioned by the Congress earlier when these hearings had happened in the Trial Court. The Sessions judge, uh, the, there were comments made by senior Congress leaders about the uh, antecedents of the judge which had heard the matter in the Trial Court as well as the uh, uh, background of the judge who had heard this matter in the High Court. So Justice Gawai, as the hearing began, pointed out that he also has a connection to the Congress party and whether anyone has any objections to him now hearing this matter. But for now, notice has been issued to Purnesh Modi as well as the uh, Gujarat government, Rahul Gandhi's lawyer, Abhishek Manusingvi, pointing out that Rahul Gandhi has also lo already lost out on 122 days of uh, being a member of a parliament, being an elected representative. He has already lost out on attending one parliamentary session and the current monsoon session is also going to be affected that he will not be able to attend this current monsoon session if an interim stay is not given. The court, of course, however, not at this stage giving him any interim relief. The hearing will now be on 4th of August. Okay. Back to you. you know, Anisha, please uh, break this down for us in terms of what are, in fact, the respondents in this case. Uh, Punesh Modi and the Gujarat government have to get back to the court where the notice has been issued. But what is the reply that is to be given? Well, Purnesh Modi has been given the time to respond to whether any, uh, and register any objections, if he has any, to Rahul Gandhi's plea seeking a stay okay. on the conviction and sentencing. Remember, this opportunity was also given to him in the Gujarat High Court, where his lawyers had argued that Rahul Gandhi should not be given any relief. The state of Gujarat, of course, being a necessary uh, party because it is the government, will also be heard on the 4th of August. Okay.